Hey folks, thanks for checking in for another installment and the final installment for 2018 of D-Ray's Garage. It's been a great 10, 11 months of learning how to make videos, how to work on cars, and learn what makes you happy, which frankly, I'm a long way from completely figuring out, but I do appreciate you joining. I look forward to better content, more content, and some interesting stories in 19 behind me. As big as I am, I am not doing a great job of covering up one of the things we'll be talking about soon. Today though, we are looking into the i3. So the i3 needs some help. The i3 has an issue as far as gas tank, which is a 2.4 gallon gas tank, which will only let you access 1.9 for the generator in the back if you have the Rex model. And then secondly, your ability to go from battery to the generator power at your choosing is taken away from you. So I plan on reinstituting that through the V-Gate tool. So let's get on with it. So here is the iCar Pro from V-Gate. Riley's gonna demonstrate this. She's gonna take it out of the box. Very simple OBD2 reader, fairly generic in nature. There it is, goes right into your OBD2 port. And you just need to download this app, the Bimmer Code app. And we're off to the races. First things first, we've gotta get in here and set in the V-Gate tool. Now I did cheat and I already put it in here. So let me light up the situation so we can see a little better. So this right here where that little light is, is where you need to insert into the OBD2 port your V-Gate tool. So I'm gonna remove that so you can see it. Very simple device, not much to it. This was, I don't know, I'll put a link down below so you can grab it. It was maybe 30, 40 bucks on Amazon. And it cost you another 34, $35, I think, on the App Store, be it iOS or Android Play, to get the coding uh, handled there by the and manufacturer so you can do the easy coding unless you want to go down the complex route and risk getting it wrong. So you should be able to see here where we have now entered uh, less than 75% of battery. So if the change took, I should be able to, in the settings, uh, where is it? Range extender, hold state of charge. Holy moly! You know what we just did? We just switched over two and it lit up hopefully you saw that we switched over to the generator so heck it worked it's a, it's a miracle it's a christmas new year miracle Let's see if we turn it back off sure can all right and then uh, i'm gonna go put some gas in the tank here my first ever fill up in this car with six weeks of ownership and uh, it's a two gallon tank, so yeah, pretty efficient, I'd say.
wanted to show you two more things I did change and I didn't show you in the video, but uh, I added temperatures to the wheels here, which I, I think that's pretty slick. I didn't even know they could do that. And uh, who'd have thunk it? 44 degrees in Arizona and we have snow in North Scottsdale. I did add these sports displays down here. Yeah, not functional in these cars, but it was a nice idea. So now you know, those, uh, there's more to it than meets the eye. So that's it folks, it's a wrap for 2018. All the projects are in the bag. We have monkeyed with the spider quite a bit. Got a new fella behind us. We've monkeyed with a Corvette that no longer lives with us. And we've got the i3. Cars, you might have noticed, have started to migrate towards the EV end of the spectrum. We still do still have the spider, thankfully, but we may have another P car in our future. Check, out, check me out on Instagram, at DRay's Garage, if you want to get those insights as that project takes its shape. And uh, hopefully we'll be giving you lots of insights on that front too. That's all she wrote. We'll see you next time. Oh, wait. Next year. Peace.